Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set uh, is a sort of, uh, you can say, a logical uh, data set. It says that there are four teams, South Africa, England, New Zealand, Australia. They played four home tests during a season. Okay, not among themselves, maybe with any other teams. So we are given that uh, the teams played with the same set of bowlers in all their matches. Okay, and some of these bowlers were pacers, fast bowlers and some were spinners. Okay, the pacers took either two or three wickets in a match and the spinners took two or one wickets in a match. Okay. All the Pacers of a took, team took the same number of wickets in a particular match. Let us say there are two Pacers in a team. So both will take the same number of wickets in that particular match. right? So both of them will take either three wickets or two wickets. Similarly, all the spinners of a team took the same number of wickets in a particular match. So if there are, let us say, two spinners or three spinners, so all of them might have taken three wickets uh, or two wickets or one wickets. Okay. Now they've given that of the four matches, the pacers and spinners of each team took a different combination of per bowler wickets. That means the wickets taken per pacer or spinner of each team in the four matches were two wickets, one wickets means each pacer taking two wicket, each spinner taking one wicket or it can be a combination of two, two. Let us say each pacer taking two wickets, each spinner taking two wickets or three, one and 3-2. So there are four possible combinations. So all these combinations happened in some order. Okay, we are not given the order. So that means like in one match, what will happen is all pacers will take three wickets, all spinners will take one wicket, right? Similarly, all uh, pacers will take two wickets, all spinners will take one wicket, all pacers two wickets, all spinners two wickets. Like this, uh, it will happen in some order, okay? That we have to figure out using this table. And this table gives the number of wickets taken by the bowlers of these teams in the matches. So, four matches. This can happen in any order, right? We do not know the order. So, we have to find out ki in which match how many uh, uh, like wickets were taken by spinners, pacers. How many? We are not given the number of pacers also. We are not given the number of spinners also. So, we have to solve for that thing. So, how to solve this is? Let us say, let us look at South Africa, right? Suppose, and it is saying that each team took a particular, uh, uh, like played the same set of bowlers. Suppose there are X spacers and there are Y spinners. Okay, let us say for South Africa, X spacer or Y spinners. Now, how many wickets will be taken by pacers? So, X into, like in one match, it will be 2X. If there are two wickets by each pacer and one wicket by, so these will be the combinations 2x plus y, 2x plus 2y, okay, it can be 3x plus y, it can be 3x plus 2y. So these will be the different combinations in any order, right? We do not know the order. Now, obviously, x and y are positive numbers, okay? So this will be the least value, 2x plus y will be the least value and this will be the highest value. Okay, this is the least value, this is the highest value. So, pick for the lowest and the highest value. So, this is the lowest value, this is the highest value, right? So, if you solve for least value or highest value, that is 16 and 2x plus y is equal to 10. So, we multiply by 2, we can get it uh, 4x plus 2y is equal to 20. So, on solving, we get x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 3. So that means there are 4 pacers and 3 spinners. Okay. Now if you take uh, this combination 2x plus y we get uh, nini. So uh, if you solve it we will get uh, x is equal to 4 and y is equal to 2. Sorry not 4 3 it will be 4 and 2. Right. So 4 2 that means uh, if we take this this will be 2x plus y is 10. 2x plus 2y, 8 plus 4, 12. Okay, 3x plus y, 12 and 2, 14. And this is 16. So this fits, right? So four pacers and two spinners. So likewise, we will solve for, look for the highest value and the lowest value, right? So highest value, lowest value. In this case, highest value, lowest value. Okay, similarly, in this case, highest value, 
lowest value right so if we solve for this so uh, 3x plus 2y is equal to 15 and uh, 2x plus y is 9 Right, so if you subtract it, uh, we will get x is equal to 3. Okay, x is equal to 3, y will also come as 3. Okay, so 3 paces and 3 spinners. Uh, if we solve for New Zealand, then this is 8. Right, so it will give us x is equal to 2. Right, if you uh, uh, take the double of it so we will get x is equal to 2 so if x is equal to 2 so y will come as 4 okay so we will get this also and uh, the last if you solve it is 2 times the x will come as 3 in this case right? so 3x plus y 2y so x will come as 3 3 and <coughs> y will come as 4. Right? So we can find the number of pacers and spinners in each of these teams. Right? Now, putting these values, we can find the other combinations also. Right? So this is the combination where 3 wickets and 2 wickets. This is the combination where 2 wickets and 1 wicket. Right? So if we put uh, 3 wickets and 1 wicket, so 9 plus 4, 13. So this is 3, 1 combination. This will be 2, 2 combination. Right. So, we can find for all except England, right? We cannot find these two because if we have two combination or three one ka combination, in both cases we will get 12 wickets. But for all others, we can find the number of uh, wickets taken per pacer per spinner. <coughs> now, let us answer the questions, right? So, uh, the first question is which team had equal number of pacers and spinners so we we can say that england has equal number of pacers and spinners how many wickets were taken by south african pacers in match 2 so in match 2 there are 14 wickets taken by south africa right so uh, and there are four pacers and two spinners right so agar hum, uh, like if we we know that this is the highest combination that is 3 uh, 3 uh, 3 to wala case right so 3 3 per pacer and two per spinner so 12 and uh, no sorry three one wala case not three two three one wala case three per pacer and uh, one per spinner so total wickets taken by pacers will be four into three 12 wickets how many spinners played in the australian team so australian team has three pacers uh, and four spinners so four spinners in australian team in which match did Pacers take three wickets each and the spinners take one wicket each for England? So, for England, we have to find the 3 1 case. Right? So, highest wicket will be 3 2 case, 3 per Pacer, 2 per spinner, and this will be 2 1 case. But we cannot determine 3 1. Right? Because if we put 3 1 here, so 9 plus 3 12 wickets. Right? So, it can be here or it can be here. We cannot determine the match in which they had this combination. So that was the solution to the set and the answers to the questions.